Hey everyone, Bob here. Our topic for today is speed and space management. Defensive driving course for truck driver. There are more vehicles on the road than ever. And the sad fact is, many of the people driving them could have been better trained. Keeping yourself safe and on the road takes all of the skill you can master. How you manage your speed and the space around you can literally be the difference between yet another successful run and the end of your career. It doesn't matter whether you're an experienced driver or a rookie. Conditions are the same for everybody every day. It's how you handle yourself and your vehicle under any and all conditions that makes the difference. It begins with speed and space management. Managing speed and space means being actively aware of and adjusting to road, traffic, and weather conditions. For the most part, that adjustment amounts to your ability to stop and maneuver. Speed management, the cost of excessive speed. Accidents are more likely to occur at higher speeds. If an accident does occur, fatalities are more common when speeding is a factor. These are givens proven over and over in accident after accident. But even when speeding doesn't result in an accident, there are other costs that need to be taken into consideration. To begin with, speeding can have the very unwelcome consequences of traffic tickets, loss of your driving license, and it follows the loss of your job. Driving at excessive speeds can and will also have an effect on vehicle maintenance costs. Higher speeds affect tire and brake wear, engine temperature, and overall wear and tear on many vehicle components. Studies show that increasing from 80 to 95 kilometers per hour can result in a 38% increase in maintenance costs. Increasing from 80 to 112 kilometers per hour can increase this cost by as much as 80%. Speed and stopping distance. Your vehicle speed has direct effect on your ability to stop it. Three elements combine to equal total stopping distance. Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance equal total stopping distance. Perception distance is the distance your vehicle travels from the time you see a hazard until your brain recognizes it. For alert drivers, approximately three quarter of a second. At 88 kilometers per hour, a vehicle travels about 60 feet in a three quarter of a second. Reaction distance is the distance your vehicle travels in time. It takes the brain to tell the foot to push the brake pedal. This reaction takes another three quarter of a second and another 60 feet. Braking distance is the distance it takes your vehicle to stop once the brakes have been applied. At 88 kilometers per hour on dry pavement with good brakes, it can take a heavy vehicle such as yours about five seconds to stop. Speed and road conditions. There's never any one safe speed. Various road surfaces as well as the condition of the road will sometimes call for lower speeds. It is simply a matter of traction. The less friction between your tires and road, the less traction you have. Speed and the weather. Virtually all adverse weather requires that you reevaluate re your speed of travel. One dangerous situation that sticks up on many drivers occurs right after it rains. Oils on the road don't mix with water. They rise to surface 
and put a layer of oil between your tires and the road. And there is also the danger of hydroplaning in standing water. When it rains, consider dropping your speed by at least one third. Speed and your vision should always be able to stop within the distance you can see ahead. Rain or other conditions may limit your vision and require you to slow down so you are able to stop safely. In adverse weather, you will also be able to see better using the low beams of your headlights. At night, your field of vision is reduced considerably. Drive with your high beams when possible and slow down when driving with your low beams. Speed on curbs, ramps, and downgrades. Taking a curb or ramp too fast can cause your trailer or tractor to slide. But more devastating is the effect of speed as it combines with your vehicle's high center of gravity to cause rollovers. Rollovers on curbs and ramps are far too common and the excessive speed is usually the culprit. Remember, speed limits posted on curbs and ramps are arrived at with cars in mind. You should always take curbs and ramps at a lower speed than that listed. Your ability to slow your vehicle or maintain a low speed is of utmost importance on downgrades. Take your brakes and shift to lower gear prior to heading downhill. It's commonly recommended that to prevent brakes from overheating on that rate. You apply them just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Then when your speed has decreased by 10 kilometers per hour, release the brakes. As you pick up speed, repeat the process until you are down the grade. Space management, your living room. To be a safe driver, you need a space cushion all around your vehicle. Some drivers call it their quote unquote living room. When things go wrong, space gives you time to think and to take action. While the need for enough space is front of you is obvious. You also have to be aware of and manage the amount of space to the rear, sides, top and bottom of your vehicle. Space ahead. Maintaining a space caution in front of your truck is critical. You need at least one second between vehicles for every 10 feet of your vehicle's length. At speeds over 60 miles kilometers per hour, add another second. For example, if you're driving a 40 foot rig at 56 kilometers per hour, allow four seconds between you and the vehicle in front of you. A 60 foot rig would need at least six seconds at the same speed. Increase your speed to 88 and you'll need five seconds for the 40 foot vehicle and seven seconds for the 60 footer. You can estimate the space between you and the vehicle ahead by watching that vehicle pass a landmark, such as a highway sign or telephone pole. As that vehicle passes the landmark count of seconds, 1001, 1002, and etc. until you pass the landmark. Accident records show that when truck drivers run into vehicles in front of them, it's most often because they were following too close for conditions. Space behind. Many other drivers still get heavy vehicles, especially on upgrades. Use your mirrors, stay to the right, and avoid lane or other sudden changes of any kind. If a vehicle that was behind you seems to have disappeared, assume that it has disappeared into one of your blind spots. Space to the sides. Use your mirrors. Stay centered. Communicate your presence and your intentions. Since your vehicle is one of the biggest on the road, you're going to take up most of your lane. By staying centered in your lane, you'll be allowing yourself as much side clearance as possible 
and have room to maneuver somewhat in either direction should it be necessary. Space above and below. Adequate space above your vehicle is needed to clear bridges, overpasses, trees, and wires. Adequate space below your vehicle is needed to clear railroad tracks, and even road surfaces and road debris. Keep in mind the simple facts that if you're running empty, you will have less clearance above. And if you're running loaded to max, you will have less clearance below. Space to turn and merge. Use your mirrors. Check and double check your space. Signal early, but not so early as to confuse other drivers. Plan ahead. Go slowly. Give yourself plenty of time. In right turns, position your vehicle so it's difficult for other drivers to pass on the right. This is a common accident area. If you must swing into another lane, turn wide as you complete the turn and keep the rear of your vehicle close to the curb. Avoid starting at right turn with a swing to the left. Other drivers may assume you are turning left. With left turns, make sure you reach the center of the intersection before you start your turn. If there are two left turning lanes, always use the one farthest to the right. This will help make the turn easier to execute and help avoid blindside crosses. When merging, remember that it takes time to bring a truck up to speed. Make sure you have plenty of room to enter traffic. By signaling early and time your pace so that of passing traffic, you will have the best chance of a safe merge and allow you to blend with other traffic. Keeping plenty of space all around your vehicle and driving at the appropriate speed are good ways to make sure you get home mishap free at the end of your run. The small amount of time you might save by speeding isn't worth the risk it presents. The issue is safety, yours and everybody else. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all the new video uploads. And thank you for watching.